Batting second, center field, number nine, Caitlin Vega. She's out now. I don't know what's going on here. Hold on a second. Man, there, that's three pitches, and there's been so much action. I just got the lineups in. What is going on? Two outs, man on second. Batting court. Third base, number 28, Brianna Vea. All right, first pitch of the game was lined into left field. One ball, one strike to Vela, the four hole. I forgot, I did a Missouri Valley game in Wichita. Made a bunch of buddies on the on my uh, text. I got started getting texts from people. I'm like, oh yeah, Valley folks. Oh, we got out of that inning somehow. So the first pitch was lined in the left. The second pitch was bunted. Zero, him and you coming to bat. Oh, I need to edit that. So I get a sack bunt for that because she did advance the runner, <clears throat> but then there was a throw behind, and the umpire called the runner safe, but then she took her hand off the bag. Let's see if I have that. This is that play again. One, four, sack, throw behind, safe, but then she took her hand off the base and he's like, you're out now. Nineteen. <clears throat> It's cold too. Leading off the bottom of the first for the Pioneers, center field number 19, Cordelia Hanger. Cordelia Hanger was one for three in game one with a stolen base. This pitcher is Miles. Puts through the first one for a strike, it's only one. Shirley Miles. Six and five. This is her 14th start. She has a 5-4-2 ERA. Lined into left field, base nine. Batting second, shortstop number six, Dez Duncan. 62 innings, 91 hits, 39 strikeouts. Opponents hitting 338 against her. Lineup for the Pioneers a little bit different, but Naya or uh, Des Duncan batting second. Steal, go ahead and steal. 
You don't get thrown out ever. Well, that was a strike, by the way. Cold strike. <clears throat> there she goes. Call the ball. I pushed the wrong button. I'm struggling. She extends her all-time career record, stolen bases, something over 100. Approaching the single season record, which I believe is 41. Fouled away one and two. She also extended her base hits record with that single. Hits, runs, and steals. Career leader out there at second base. Stays alive. That's headed for the Jeep. It's fine. It's always fine. Wind blowing out hard to right field. Duncan stays alive again. Pioneer baseball team struggling up at Clark in game three. It's seven to one. Line down the line foul. This next pitch will be the eighth of the at bat. Popped up, <clears throat> second base, one away. Batting third, right field number one, Naya Brown. Naya Brown came into the day hitting 307, seven doubles, team leading 31 RBIs. Paints the outside corner, does miles for a strike. It's 0 1. And that's popped up. Going to take a two-out knock to score base, hanger four. now. <clears throat> Stokes came into today hitting 340. Grounded back to the circle.
Five, six, seven, do up for Missouri Valley. This is Keller. Walked a couple times in game one. Change up taken for a strike. It's own one. <coughs> Fastball, same spot, ball one. How did that miss? Full count. Flared into shallow right. Stokes. Michaela Castions, the six hole. Grounded into left field, base hit. Stella Cashin, betting seventh, grounds to third, bobbled, no play anywhere, two on. Bunted. Both runners move up. Starting ninth, left fielder, number one, Haley Simmons. I'll give a sack bunt for that, even though it's one out. Nine hole. Takes strike one. Cashin, by the way, was one for four on the season. Caught in the air. Todd caught that. Three outs. I'll show it to you again. To the Vikings in the top of the second. No runs, one hit, one pioneer error, two runners left. And after one and a half innings, Zero. <clears throat> Saved a couple of runs.
Pioneers and batting fifth. Left field, number 24, Maddie Brooks. <coughs> Maddie Brooks leads off. She is hitting fifth and lines one up the middle for a base hit. Little Van Lanker. Decker, number 25, Allie Van Lanker. <coughs> Gets the bunt down. Out at first, and <coughs> uh, Brooks made it all the way to third. Seven designated player number twelve, Emma Jones. The DP Emma Jones now runner on third, one out. Called strike in under the hands, zero and one. Last foul, 0 and 2. <laughs> Looks like I've lost camera 3. That's into right field, and that's down. Here comes Maddie Brooks, and it is 1 to nothing. Schulte's going deep here. I'm calling one. Take strike one. Schulte came into the day. <clears throat> Hitting 309, 15 doubles, a triple, four homers. That's deep, but a little bit foul. Wind blowing out to right center. Grounded. Ooh, popped up on the first baseman, but she got it. Runner. What happened? I was, very, I was looking at the wrong things. Let's watch that again and see what happened. I didn't switch the camera very well anyway. For the Pioneers in the bottom of the second, hmm. one run on two hits. So Loretta, just a straight 6-3 double play, and, and I think, I mean, Jones won. didn't slide, but I Thank think you. she may have tried to go around. I don't know. It looked strange from here. I couldn't tell what was happening. Pioneers pick up one, however. We'll be right back. Sophie De Ruin. 
Top of the order due up for the Vikings. Tap towards third. Todd, one away. Center field number nine, Caitlin Vega. Popped up. <clears throat> Two down. Three hole Gifford. Second base number 10, Avery Gifford. Swing and a miss at a change up in the dirt, 0 and 1. Go. Can you find the end of that? Up here? Okay. okay. Swing and a miss, strike three. For the Vikings in the top of the third. No runs, no hits, no errors. And after two and a half innings, MNU leads one to zero. This one, I need this one. I don't need this one. Leading off the top of the third for the Pioneers in batting ninth, third base number 10, Robin Todd. Robin Todd, 9-1-2, due up for the Pioneers. She swings through the first pitch, 0-1-1. Oh, the wind has picked up big time. It's cold. There are wolves after me. Put my hood up. Hold on. <coughs> the O2. by Brianna Villa. And one away for Hanger, top of the order. Center field, number 19, Cordelia Hanger.
Got the catcher pretty good, so the ump is giving her time. It always likes to miss because it's like. This is outside, one on one. Fly down the left field line and foul territory, caught two down. <coughs> Des Duncan now with two outs. Count evens at one. <coughs> Little flare into shallow left. No problem. <coughs> Four, five, six, due up for the Vikings when we come back. Brianna Vea leads off, takes ball one. Two and oh. Swings through that one, two and one. Slashed foul, count evens at two. <coughs>
Full count pitch, big one. Slashed foul, we'll do it again. Lead off walk. Killer fouls off the first pitch. It's on one. Into right center field. Brown is there. Dropped it. On the transfer. On the catch. Yep. I think the base umpire turned around a little too quickly. He didn't see her drop that. But I think they got it right anyway. Catcher number 22, Michaela Caston. Called strike one on Castions. Oh, and two. That's into right center. Caught by Hanger to the throw to first. Two down. Designated player, number three, Stella Cashin. Cashin takes ball one. Right down the middle. Watch your face. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Full count. Vea will be off on the release. Well, she wasn't. Just because it reminded me of it, I'm not trying to disparage anyone. But when there's a full count and two outs, and you're on the, 
if it's runner on first, first and second, or bases loaded, you steal on that delivery because there's no downside, right? It's either a walk, it's put in play, or it's a strikeout and the inning ends. But it doesn't, like, sometimes, like, <clears throat> our baseball team does it too occasionally when they're not paying attention. Leading off the bottom of the fourth to the Pioneers, right field, number one, Naya Brown. And I just assumed everybody knew that intuitively as a collegiate baseball or softball player, but it's it, it's missed way too often. 25% of the time I see it missed. First pitch pop out. <coughs> Three, four, five, two up for the Pioneers. That was Brown. This is Stokes. Second base, number 20, Kelly Stokes. Take strike one. And with softball, it's not as crucial as it is with baseball, but it does give you two or three extra steps. In baseball, it gives you a lot more than that because of the wine, or, you know, the you can leave whenever you want. Softball, you have to wait for the release, and it's just so much quicker, but still, it's a few more steps that might result in success. Chopped back to the circle, two down. Field number 24, Maddie Brooks. Maddie Brooks singled and scored in the second inning. <clears throat> Grounded right past the shortstop. She did not get a good look at that. May have lost it in the crowd or something. It just looked like she didn't see it. Like leaning the other way. Catcher number 25, Allie Van Lanker. Allie Van Lanker now with two outs. Brooks on first. She's two for two. strike one on the outside corner. outside grounded up the middle and through DP Emma Jones now with a chance. Runner in scoring position and two outs. Good pitch in under the hands, 0 and 1. Fouled on the third baseline, 0 and 2. Yeah. 
Guy down the left field line. Out of play foul. One ball, two strikes, two outs, two on. That's drilled into deep left field. Track. Wall up against the fence. Brooks scores. Here comes Van Lanker. Two out, two run, double for Emma Jones, and it is three to nothing. I thought she got that for a second. First base, number 22, Abby Shelton. Here's the swing from Jones. That's up the middle and through. Jones rounding third. She is stopped wisely. Would have been hosed at the plate. Here is the Jones double again. It's the bunt down foul, 0 and 1. Go. Schulte moves up on the wild pitch and Todd has two in scoring position. Grounded to short. That'll do it, but the Pioneers pick up two. Top of the fifth for the Vikings. Good stop, number six, Anaya Castrieta. Anaya Castrieta. Somebody texted me about that name. Hold on a second. Because I feel like I'm getting it. Castrieta. 
check my texts again. I got a headache. I'm struggling. <clears throat> AKA the Annihilator. I'm not going to call her that. But the uh, <coughs> pronunciation provided in the text says Kestruida. Kestruida. I'm not buying it. I'm going Castorita. Let me know. The bolded, the bolded syllable means that's the one that's stressed. Castruida. Or you can go Castruida. Castruida. <laughs> Grounded foul. Castruida instead of four syllables. Like Pastroika. Or that kind of word. I don't know. Full count. I haven't gone over Burlage's numbers yet. Grace Burlage is eight and three. This is her thirteenth start. Two one nine ERA. Seventy and a third innings. Sixty seven hits, forty nine strikeouts, opponents hitting two fifty two. It's an excellent season. Slashed foul again to wearing out that on deck batter. She takes it, eats the dirt, and gets out of the way of that. Lead off walk. Number one, Haley Simmons. Haley Simmons, the nine hole. Gets the bunt down. Burledge to Stokes, one away. Sophie de Ruin. Back to the top of the order. Popped up. Stokes calls it. Schulte gives way at the last moment. Two down. I remember once called strike, sorry. I was a catcher back in high school. That's hammered into deep left center field. That is against the fence. Here comes Castrida, and it's an RBI double. It's three to one. To the three hole Gifford now. I'm going to bail on my story. I'm just going to use a get out of story free card. It doesn't matter. Grounded in the left field base hit. The throw to the plate is late, and it's three to two. And the tying run advances to second.
tying run at second with two outs. This inning was not much happening. There was a leadoff walk and then two outs. And then basically back-to-back -back doubles. A double and a single with a move up on the throw. That's crushed in the left. That's over her head and off the fence, and we are tied at three. I think that's going to do it for Burledge. A lead off walk, two outs, and then bing, bang, boom, three to three. Mandy Brown enters the game. We'll be right back. Five-hole Keller now. Mandy Brown fires ball one. Brown on the season is three and two. This is her 12th appearance. She has a 3-1-5 ERA, 46 and two-thirds innings. 37 hits, 33 strikeouts, opponents hitting 216. Again, really good numbers. Pioneer pitching staff is fairly deep this year. Fairly, it's not even that they're they're very deep this year. We got one, two, three, four, five pitchers with more than 18 innings thrown. Got her swinging, gets out of the inning. Pioneers go to the bottom of the fifth. We are tied. Three runs on three hits, no errors, one run or less, and after four and a half innings. New battery for the Vikings. <clears throat> Chloe Schuff is one and four with a 2.25 ERA in 46 and two thirds innings. 52 hits, 30 strikeouts. Opponents hitting 2.69. She's been very good. And the new catcher is Chris Aguilar. Leading off the top of the third, the bottom of the fifth. Number 19, Cordelia Hanger. Top of the order for the Pioneers.
One and two on Hanger. Nasty. Tough sequence from Shuff. One out. Squares to bunt. <clears throat> Goes through it. It's 1 0. The one, two, little pop into center field. <clears throat> Nia Brown now. Duncan has that inner game, just little doinks, little doinks and dunkers, Duncans. Put the bat on it, sometimes good things happen. Some sort of breaking ball there, got Brown out in front, one and one. Same pitch, same result. It's outside, two and two. Little snubber out in front of home plate. Two down for Stokes. Second base, number 20, LA Stokes. <clears throat> right, this is outside, 1 0. Stokes, the four hole. With a chance to put MNU out in front. Runner in scoring position, two outs. Into right field and deep. Back to the track, to the wall. Gone! Pioneers take the lead on a two run homer from Kelly Stokes. It is five to three. It has been a long time since Pioneers have hit a home run. That was obviously the best time. Number 24, Maddie Brooks. Got it up in that wind, hit it with authority. Now Maddie Brooks with two outs.
Here's that home run again. First pitch to Aguilar misses. It's one and zero. Oh. Jams are up and in. Swings through that one. It's zero oh and two. He's heading to left. All the way two and one. The hitter is cashing. Got it, Byer, strike three. Shortstop, number six, Anaya Castrieta. Castrieta. Soft grounder, Todd. Only play was the second. Tying runs on base now.
First pitch misses up for a ball to 1-0. <clears throat> Simmons, the nine hole. On the top of the order, put together three runs in the fifth. Got to get this out off the glove of Todd. No play anywhere. Base hit, bases loaded. There's a rocket to her left. And on the top of the order. You're playing in front of the base, and you have to make any ball with authority. If they don't, in the stat manual, they call those hits. And that was smoked anyway, even if she was playing back. Plenty of ways out of the situation, but the two-hole, I feel, has been killing us. Let me look. Fouled away one and two. Oof, stays alive. Bruins one for three, Vela's one for two, and Gifford's two for three. Dang it. The two two. The one two. Mm, stays alive again. Time called. Grounded to second. Gets the out at home. Two down. Grounded to short is what I meant to say. Center field number nine, Caitlin Vayard. That'll work. Sorry, I didn't switch that in time. It was just a grounder to the third, and she threw it home. For the Vikings in the top of the six, no run, three hit, no errors, three runners left. And after five and a half innings, time is five, Vikings three. All right, we go to the bottom of the sixth, up by two. Okay. No 
No balls, one strike to Ellie Van Lenker. Off the end of the bat, this is going to wind up being a base hit. <laughs> She hit it off the cap. We're going to run for Van Lenker with Maddie Soman. I feel like Van Lenker runs pretty well. Tell me if I'm wrong. Not saying you don't want someone faster, but just saying. Just, just in my head at the moment. Running at first base for the Pioneers, number two, Maddie Soman. Emma Jones with a big hit earlier in this game. Swings through that one. Um, Shuff has this nasty little slide ball that is murder on righties so far. Stokes, the lefty, got it and put it out of the yard. Yeah, that is just disgusting. It feels like a baseball splitter. I don't know exactly what it is in softball. It looks like it's spinning sideways. Tap to third. Five, four, safe at first. Schulte now. That is just dirty. Grounded, deep short. Two down. Third base, number 10, Robin Todd. Robin Todd with two outs. It's called strike one. facing a pitcher like this and you're going to get constant late breaking sliders right is need to think right field otherwise they'll keep pulling it pulling grounders to the left side but that's fine we're to the seventh up by two Three, four, five, due up for the Vikings. Gifford to face Mandy Brown. Takes ball one. Two 
2-0. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay. One and one. I mean, if you just want to keep throwing it there, good luck. One and two. Gifford has a couple hits in game two. Pioneers looking to salvage a sweep on senior day. You can see on the, the back there, I think it says congrats, seniors, or just congrats with some stars. I can't tell. It's right below me. Just congrats, it looks like. They've decorated the sidewalk with chalk and they got balloons going and signs. Right down the chute, fouled away. Dangerous pitch from Brown. Full count. Pioneer baseball team leads game four, three to nothing in the third inning or so, second inning maybe. Live stats have been funky today. It's hard to tell what's going on sometimes. Grounded foul. Full count. Lofted into left. Maddie Brooks is there. One down. Big out. One away for one away for the four hole. Brianna Vela. Did that ever hit the ground? <laughs> That's in the left field. That's hammered over the head of Brooks. And it's a one out double. The tying run comes to the plate. Keller, the five hole. Everybody's dangerous with the wind blowing out. This is not Keller. They're going to pinch hit. Now batting for the Vikings, number 20, Cherry Gray. Cherry Gray. Gray has three homers on the year. Keller had one. This is down and away. 1 0. The runner at second is irrelevant. Got to get the next two outs. Obviously, tag her if she's next to you, but basically, ignored. The one, <coughs> the one oh pours in for a strike. It's one and one. Out in front of that, fouled away. One and two.
That's crushed in the left. Foul. Woo! Careful with those. Swing and a miss, got her two down. Catcher number 11, Chris Aguilar. Chris Aguilar now. Aguilar has no homers this season, one RBI. Yes, she did, 0-1-1. Sounded like my daughter. The 1-1. One, one. Popped up. Shallow center. It drops. Five to four. Where the plate? So Duncan was back, settling under it. She heard Hanger's call for it. Hanger was like, "Ah, oh, never mind. Take it, Dez." And Dez was like, "Oh, thought you had it." They could have thrown it home, but I'm glad they didn't. You don't want the tying run at second base in that situation. Uh, they're bringing in Jonico. They have 11. Yeah, you Cubs guy. Have we talked about that before? I don't know. I don't know I Stella Cashin. She came into this game one for four on the season. Now she has to face Michaela Jonico with the game on the line. Number 11 is at first. Oh, we knew that already. One and one. That misses away. One and two. Two and one. Cashin is 0 for 3. Tapped. Called a foul. Two and two. This needs to be your best pitch right here. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Tying run at first. Got her swinging. Pioneers win. That'll do it. We're back next Friday against Baker. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'm out.